producer's point of view. All right, so she's coming all the way from Queens. We in B and BK right now, but you know we do this for the five boroughs and all around the world. So um, let everybody know how long you've been rapping and 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 what's your life like right now? Because already your music already is, is crazy. So I'm not gonna get into that until we get into <laughs> we get into who you are as a person. All right. Well, um, I've been rapping for a minute now, about a year, but I just now started taking it seriously about like six months ago. Um, at first it was just something to do, but now it's something that I really take my time with and just dedicate part of my life to. So, um, yeah, definitely. And, um, I don't know, like, making music really helps me calm down. Like it makes me be, feel free to speak about a lot of things that I really can't speak about on a regular. So that's what I use my outlet to. I'm not just one of those rappers that just rap to rap. Like I rap so you could really hear me. A lot of the things that I really say is what I really do, but well, I, we're not going to get into well, that. Yeah, we, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're not going to get into that. We're not going to do that to ourselves and put ourselves on blast like that. But no, it, it, it would make sense for someone that's, that's rapping about, anything to have some type of connection to what they rap it to so that the people can actually vibe with you officially Definitely. and you can actually like reciprocate i couldn't imagine our artists rapping about something that they have nothing to don't know about and then people actually right. you know, vibing with them and and you actually live in that whole dream of, or, or front as as what we would call it Right. Uh, well, my drill music is definitely not what I do, obviously. But my drill music is definitely what I see, definitely what I'm used to, definitely what I know. Like, But I'm very versatile with my music. I don't just have drill music. I do R&B. I also do a lot of other things. So it's like, I just relate. If I can't, if I can't feel it, and if it's not relatable, or if I didn't do it myself, I'm not speaking about it. Exactly. No, I, I can understand that. But music is supposed to be, I mean, music, we got some like, people like Slick Rick, uh, J. Cole, all of these type of artists, like they tell stories, like they're not all, you, you watch some of J. Cole's videos, like that. that's not everything that he's been through. Like J. Cole, does he even have kids yet? He don't, he don't have any kids, right? Oh, no, I uh, don't think so. Right. But he, he, he can he write a story about having kids. So it's okay to embellish on a on a story or, or, or pop some ish about robbing a bank or whatever you want to talk right. about. But let's just make sure that we keep it clear that that, you know, the things that that are true to you, that you let people know the, the difference. Heavy on it. Right. So I right, so so you just started rapping. How many years would you say that you actually been taking it serious, though? One. Just one. Yes. Already. So you got a, you got somebody that that's that coached you in the game that said yo you should be a writer or or, or a rapper based off of something that they seen. Well, I definitely am in tune with a lot of people. Um, a lot of people definitely spoke to me about it. Like Yandy Smith, she's been very helpful. Um, she also like pushed me to really take music seriously. Um, who else? That's a big that's a big coach on Yandy Smith. Shout out to Yandy yeah. Smith's family. Um. Definitely DJ Rush for me. He yeah, shout out to Rush. Rush used to do a show with me. Very, very supportive of my career for me. It's been there. <laughs> like, we all go through things, but at the end of the day, that's family, and he definitely motivated me to right. keep going. Um, also, just my family. Like, my family already been telling me, you know, like, I got talent, so speak up. Like, because I wasn't taking it serious at first, so now we're here. Okay, so as a as a female artist now coming into the game, before we get into that part, like who, what were your influences to get, to get you to this point in one year? Like who who did you hear that was like, you know what, I want to oh, do a song with Oh, definitely Nikki. <laughs> so Nikki out the out the gate. Yeah. And what about I've Nikki, been listening to Nikki since then. You're from Queens, so that makes sense. Yeah. That makes a hundred percent sense. But what what part of Nikki's uh, career did you feel like, you know, what I want to carry on? Because I'm sure you respect her enough to say I want to either work with her or carry on, not so much Heavy. take her out. Because it seemed like people come into hip-hop ready Oh, no, no, no. And it's competitive. I'm not here to compete. I'm not here to take nobody out. We could all be on top, you feel me? Right. But at the end of the day, I feel like I looked up to Nikki because she really speak. Like, I felt Nikki most when she first came out with everything. Like, her staircase days, you feel me? Like, when she used to just rap and spit about Queens, Warning, all of those songs. Those is what really pushed me to want to rap. Because I don't like just listening to songs that is just songs. Like, they just catchy. Right. I like 
people who actually talk. I like to listen and notice what you're saying in your lyrics. If you're not talking to me, I'm not going to keep playing that song. That's that's a good thing that you just said. That that's an aha, aha moment because um, I like to, you know, when I hear records, and it don't matter if it's drill, trap, house music, as long as something that I can connect to, and I'm a producer first, so the name of the show is Producer's Point of View right. for a reason because I make, I make, I can make the beat, I can engineer the beat, I can engineer the sound, I can engineer your voice, I can put you on radio, I can do all the things that a producer can do. So when right. people start telling me, jumping in my inbox, talking about, now nah, you got to hear me, I'm fire and all this, I'm just like, please, like, just don't do that because now you right. done built up something that you can't take down now because now I'm waiting to hear the fire right. that you talking about. The heat that you keep. However, uh-huh. when, you are, when you're an artist, when you're an artist like yourself that, that studied the game, studied somebody that actually did a lot of dope things, Nikki is definitely, you know, top tier. And, and mm-hmm. she did a lot of things that a lot of people didn't do, broke a lot of records. Um, that would be someone that I would say that you would follow behind and, right. and, and, and study the game. Right. And she's a spitter first. Like, yeah, she right. did all the Barbie stuff and all that. But that's exactly. the gimmicky stuff you have to do in this industry that we're in. But before all that, she had bars. And look who she came under. Lil Wayne, Drake. Like, that. that's all. That's bar. That's a bar. She always had steel to sharpen her steel. So exactly. she was good. So as far as you have a camp, do you have people that you, that you rock with now, like, musically? Or you just got support? No, I just got support. Right now, I'm not really behind nobody. I just got support from a lot of people. I'm so forever grateful. All right. And did you, your name, your Instagram name, how'd you come up with that? Because I know one part of it, I say, it says the Don. I'm like, all right. Yes. Well, um, I really have, like, just like Nikki, I told you I'm very inspired by her. So I really have, like, alter egos. So a lot of people call me Big Bela, Kayla Bela, mm-hmm. Quinn. Or the dawn, like it's just very simple. <laughs> so, all right. And I normally, I normally like would love to know, out of the three parts of the process of the music process, do you like producing the music, promoting it, or performing it? Which one of the P's do hmm. you enjoy doing right now? And one year in, what is your favorite thing to do? Right now, definitely producing it. So you like writing, being in the studio. Yes, do I you- love to hear what I created, like. All of my music, I really be speaking into and I really put effort into. Like, I could create a song within, like, five minutes, but as long as I know that it sounds good, it makes me feel good. Performing, I love to perform, but I like to hear what I've created, so. Right, and quietly, I mean, you got into the game. Obviously, you know we went through COVID, and the industry stopped. Heavy. So you had a lot of time to get yourself together and then come out like how you came out right now. Like, I wouldn't have known that you just started doing this one year ago. Right. You know, hadn't you told me that just now? Yeah, a lot of people say that. (laughs) That's a good thing, though. It it is good. And some people have that gift. And it's good that you could start off and be a rookie, you know, one year in the game and then be able to put together how many records you got so far how many? <laughs> a lot my project said, dropped, <laughs> like, <laughs> my project give me, give dropped august 6th give me a number how many songs have you written so far since you started i've written about <laughs> some songs is not even recorded i've written about 40 songs maybe Ch- choruses yes everything verses, included everything. yes all right and what's your favorite style like what you do you like the because when me when she sat down let me tell you something when she sat down <laughs> right she was like she was like, so um, what you going to do? You going to throw on a beat or something so I can spit? And I'm like, she threw me off because I'm like, Yo, normally <laughs> I don't even ask that question no more because when it comes to some of you artists and, it's, and, and when it's time for somebody like me to say, I'm going to throw on a beat, any beat I want to, and you're going to rap to it and make it happen. And they be like, ah, no, nah, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do that. And that just tells me, you know, where they are mentally in the game. It doesn't mean that you can't do it, but it's just that your mind thinks that you don't have to do stuff like that. Right. When you when you're a guest on someone's show and they want you to rap, then you should rap because that's part of the production. But she right. she 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 approached me about it and I was just like, oh. Yeah. Okay. I mainly did that because I like to give my supporters what they be looking for. I want everybody to hear my unreleased that I did not even record. So that was my point of asking you that. 
All right, that's dope. So at the end of the show, y'all got to stick around because we're definitely going to get into Make sure some, y'all stay some, into some, uh, some unreleased bars. And do you are you going to go a cappella or you want me to load up a beat? We're going to talk about that behind the scenes or what, what you want to do? How you want to do um, it? We can figure that out behind right, the scenes. I ain't going to give them too much right now. Yeah, we're going to figure it we got, out. We got some time to go. We got about another 15 minutes to go. So don't worry about it, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. So give them, give them your, your social media accounts where they can go find your music now that's out there give me your website if you have a website okay um everything besides my instagram is kayla bela um my instagram is big kayla bela everything else kayla bela youtube um soundcloud spotify so when you did when when did you decide that it was big kayla because i'm the biggest stepper like i gotta (laughs) <laughs> it's just a big thing. <laughs> like every time I come, I'm gonna come big. It's never the little one. So. Listen, if you don't love nothing else about her, you gotta love the confidence because she's <laughs> definitely she's on her she's on her own time right now. But respectable, respectfully, is 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 just do because Respect. she 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 came here. She came on time. We had a whole bunch of trying to figure out she's gonna be in the Bronx or Brooklyn, and she was with whatever. Definitely. Normally, people start trying to get crazy and start trying to. Oh no no. You know demand what they what's going to happen and you know sometimes you just got to be flexible with the situation because you never right. know who's watching who's listening and how far the next situation and I, I i appreciate you for coming out and actually you know showing up thank you, um thank and, you. and making it happen um actually shout out to scott morris too because oh yeah heavy scott shout is scott. You know, scott scott works normally when he books somebody with me is like that's a instant cosign because i know if, if you met scott that means you was out there doing something that you were supposed to be doing yeah you, you don't randomly just run into him in the places where he's at like, yeah, he's always somewhere where where Definitely. he's getting to the money. So that's a that's a big view. So all right. So what about um post COVID now? As far as performances, have you done any yet? Yeah. Um, I just did a performance. What was that? Yesterday, two days ago. Wow. I just did a performance. Um, How'd but it come I out. Did you like? Did you? Do you, do you critique yourself like after you? Oh, perform, definitely. <laughs> you go back and watch the tape like a basketball team definitely. and like see where you you have done better? to. Because if not, what you gonna do the next show? You don't know what you did wrong or anything like that. So I always try to be better than what I did before. Nah, salute to that too. And that's that's what everybody should do. And anybody for me, I, I don't know how many, I don't produce over 10,000 shows, podcasts for people oh, in, in the last right. 21 years. And I always look at, you know, how the screens look, how, you know, I I, I pay attention to, I don't just do stuff and throw it up there. I, like I pay attention. So for artists, right. you, you definitely should do the same thing. And you definitely... This interview is gonna be able to help other people when they watch it back. Like, oh, she was she didn't get up there and just was on some ah 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 shit. She was really like about Heavy. about her business, and that's that's important because that's what these interviews are for to get you ready. So then when you pop up on Power One Hundred Five, MTB or whatever, you like I done did this already, you know, a bunch of times and got things to look back to see how your body language was right, you right. Know, and all that. So that's dope. Now we got a lot of dope. Um, Scott has a lot of open mics. Actually, there's one here later on tonight. Um, and you just had a birthday too. Happy, yes. happy belated birthday! Thank but you, it's, thank I, I'm you. sure it's your whole birthday, whatever month or yeah, the rest of the for summer. Surely, all right. cancer season. All right. cancer season. I can't do a tour. I'm a tourist. My sister's a cancer. Her, she's the 22nd. Oh, you're a tourist? I'm a tourist. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, we get me and my sister get along great, so I know we we, we good. Okay. We good. So, in terms of projects, EP, album, or you working on a single right now? Because you <laughs> gave me a few records already. Yeah, definitely. What's your Those- focus though? My favorites right now is definitely Block Work, Ready, and um, Ben That. Ben That. Yes. Okay, so Ben That is the only one I didn't have. I've been no. I was rotating Big Stepper. Um, you said Bready. I got Bready. I yes. had that. I didn't play that last week. So I'm a type of um, producer, and everybody that's on my gram knows right now. Like, you give me a record, I'm gonna work the record until we all know it, like how we should. So that's why every day. I'm gonna play the same record, and I may play it, play it two or three times during that same and within that two hours, because new people pop in. Right. You know, the Insta, in, internet is different now. It's not. Don't think because you posted today that that everybody that you that on your timeline sees it. Like you gotta keep going, and that's what people right. keep telling me too. And it's just like I gotta sit here all day and do this, but that's why you automate some of your accounts so that your music keeps rotating. But that's right. that's dope. I'm definitely gonna. I'm 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 involved with some DJ pools. I'm going down to the Fleet DJ. Um, the Fleet DJ conference this weekend in Florida. Okay. So that's a that's a, D, a big DJ group where a lot of people, a lot of artists come out to. But they have a um, a new music Wednesdays. Every Wednesday they do it. So I'm gonna submit to my guy Swerve. I'm gonna send him your music and get you on that. They what, Thank pretty you. much they do a Zoom call and then all the DJs be in there and then you talk. It's an interview, but it's 
for a lot of DJs. Right. So that's what's up. Knowing me plugs you into that, and you know, not, again, that's information that a lot, not a lot of people know. Anybody that's online, if you want to get involved with that, um, you can follow uh, DJ Swerve S U. I mean S W U R V, and um, ask him about that. All right. So tell me of your family members now. Who really supports you? This is this is important <laughs> right now because I always hear artists coming. You nobody support me. My block don't love me. Oh no. This that and the third. Yeah. No, my family is heavy on the support. Um, mainly my parents though. Mainly my father and my mom. Um, they be heavy on the support. Every song they playing, they spend. Well, the they back. are they music people too? Or were they into music? They are into music. Because you're younger, so that means, they, were they into hip-hop? Right. They, they are Jay-Z, into hip-hop. Jay-Z, Nas. Um, my mom is more so on the soul or R&B, but she still be playing my song all the time. So, so. Jodeci, but she Jodeci. Yeah, she um, be heavy on child, the Aaliyah and Aaliyah. the house music. That's her. <laughs> That's dope. So, are, were, is it easy to say that those are some of your influences coming up? Like, listening to the music in the house? Like, you heard a lot of that music? Yeah, or, I did. Um... If it was to be that, I would definitely say Aaliyah, but I'm really heavy on just Nicki. Like, it's nobody else to really say that. Heavy, heavy on the Nicki. Rap. All right, so let's do this now. Let's 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 play a game. <laughs> your t- if you well, see, I normally ask you help. You already answered the question, but because I, I always say, if there was an artist that you had to listen to driving from here to Florida or here to LA, whose catalog can you put on and just go through each album and not skip? But I'm sure you're gonna say that's mm. Nicki, right? Yeah. Is it Nicki? It would definitely be Nikki. If it's not Nikki, I, I would I know say, say three artists. Give me three artists. All right. Nikki, Meek, and Fabulous. Oh, that's a good, that's a good ride out. If you, especially if you put it on um random and you just it just goes from heavy on it. You know, because Fab is crazy with it. Meek, yeah. Uh, Meek Meek got some solid joints too. So mm-hmm. and then Nikki to to do what Nikki does, and she's already your favorite. That's dope. Right. That's dope. And then eventually you want to get to that point where you put together an album where somebody could just go straight through and not skip Yeah, it. that's the goal. I don't want nobody to skip not one song. Every song on my album has to be fire. If it's not, it's not going on. It's not going on. <laughs> it's not, gonna it's make not the going cut. on there. Nah, that, yeah, makes, no. that makes 100% sense. And you have to be, so do you have a, like a, a group of people that after you come out with a record, you do like a listening party and say, yo, what y'all think about this? Oh, yeah. That's, that's family. It's OTF. I'm sending everybody my music. If it's not them, it, I'm not sending it. But so you, it don't go straight to SoundCloud before the, before it goes to them. No, it has to go to them. I gotta see what they say about it. I trust in my music though. Like oh. I'm I'm solid enough to say if they if none of them answered, I would still post it. But I gotta see. Do, you, do you go with like the times like say say Nikki or 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 Cardi and or Megan and they came out with a certain style. Do you like create one for that style since everybody's on that wave that like Hot Girl Summer or something, would you come and create that type of vibe just to say you got in your bag too or would you just do like a freestyle over the beat? No, I'm more of a freestyle person. I don't follow everybody else's flows. Like I don't really want to do what's hot because if I do what's hot, then <laughs> yeah, you'd be chasing. That. it's just going to be on the same level. I want to be on a different level than everybody else. All right, that, that makes that makes sense. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get into, I want to get into the the Breddy joint first because Ooh, heavy. I, I had that and I didn't play that yet. And then we're going to get into the the new joint. Then we're going to go go get into the bars right after that. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, that song that I said, Been That, that is my favorite song. I did not record it yet. And that's what I want to spit for y'all today. Okay, dope. All right, so let's do that. The Matrix Radio Vision Live with DWI, live from the BXNY. The DWI Music. All right, we back in the building. That was that was dope. That was that was a vibe. And for anybody that that might have missed that in the transition, make sure y'all go follow Kyla, Kayla at. T- give me that information again. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I got you muted. My bad. My bad. All right. Um, come follow me at Big Kayla Bailey on Instagram. Um, those two tracks that just played, that was Breddy first. And then the second track was Block Work featuring Yellow Tape. So that's coming out August 6th on my project, Quinn Mix. That's dope. And Quinn Mix, what does Quinn Mix stand for? Oh, that's that's one of your nicknames, I think. Yeah. Quinn is one of my nicknames. And it's just... Not like Holly Quinn? No. No. <laughs> Holly Quinn gives it up too. She kind of crazy. So I <laughs> make sure it was Definitely. no connection. 
Nah. Make sure there's no connection to that. No, nah, that was dope. Um, I'm enjoying that this is your your first, you know, your first run at it, and you already got some some good music, and you understand the game enough to to keep going. So, what's the what's the future like? How you how you how you got it planned out? You doing by two or three years, five year plans? Like, what's your plan? Oh no, I need to be lit by. I get myself to next year, heavy on it. I don't really stretch my time that I get myself because mm-hmm. then you start delaying. Right. So by next year, I know I'm going to pop, and that's what's going to be it. That makes sense. That is, I heard that, right? So don't, don't, don't pretty much don't limit yourself cause, or, or, or put a time there because then you. you no, nah, you, you start to get lazy. You start to play around with it. Not doing that. That's, that's facts. So, all right. So you, you celebrate the birthday. Mm-hmm. So you're one year wiser now. You say you're about to turn up for you're about to have another birthday party. Heavy on so, it today. So, <laughs> is that just, what's a regular party with you like? Like if if you hosting a joint, like if it's your birthday party, like how how's the how's the setup? I mean the setup. I don't gotta be nothing too crazy. I mean wherever I'm at, the party's at. So <laughs> we gonna make it live regardless. That part. That part. That part. All right, shout out to everybody that's tuned back in. So, yeah, we were just, we played two records. Normally, I don't play the records during the, the interview because then I got to edit them out. But I was like, you know what? She she was rocking already, so she's worth the edit out just so y'all can y'all can vibe with her and see you know see what the what the vibes are. And, and now I'm trying to get this beat loaded up. Once I get this beat loaded up, we're about to hear some bars right now. I'm, I'm a little bit excited about this now because. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Y'all going to be the first to hear this song. It's not even recorded yet, but it's definitely going to be on my project. It's called Been That. Been That. All right. All right, so let's do this. Let me, um, I don't know why. It was a link this time and not a link then. Yeah. Come. That's crazy. It didn't go? No. Nah, the song came fine. But the link is missing in the matrix. All right, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a record while while we get it then. Okay, definitely. Since, since people are still still trying to find themselves. Shout out to my live, man. My live, I, I told y'all last week I stopped wanting to use live because it, it's always something with it. If it ain't, if them, if it's not them blocking the music, it's my phone timing out while I'm sitting over here and it's just <laughs> mad annoying. I don't like to have the phone flip the other way because I don't like my shirt reading backwards. I'm like really OCD about stuff like that. So then I can't tell when it's, when it's flipping, but your people's It's all right. Head. I got OCD too. We yeah. 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 <laughs> Things just gotta you gotta be the right way for the for Definitely. the public. Like I don't I don't really care about it, but I know when you look at it, you think, why is this, what does this shirt say? It's backwards. S S D N or whatever, you know, when it's backwards. But um all right, so do you, have you have you got any features yet? We ain't talking about that. Oh yeah. I mean, those is one of them that I just did. That's a yellow tape, two E's on Instagram. Okay. Um, she's fire. She's a rapper from Harlem. Um, oh, another another female rapper. That yeah, dope. definitely. Um, I got a couple features on my project. I also got Rockstar Hype on my project, Papa Dada on my project. Um, who else I got? I got London Hill on my project. Oh, shout out to London Hill. She works my 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 good sister. Um, why why did her name just escape me? Tish Tish. Um, oh, okay. Manages her. London, That's London Hill is dope. Yeah, nah. So, what do you think about the the female market now? In, t- in terms of a lot of the good talent coming out, um, it's been quiet. I haven't heard no no industry beefs going on. It's, I think that's simmered down a little bit. So, right. How does it feel now for you getting into the market? Um. Well, me coming into the female game, it seems like, I mean, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's very hard just making music as a female in general because you're not really so much respected as males is in the industry. So, like, when you go to the studios or when you go to shows, you don't, it don't be that easy for you unless you put pressure, you feel me? But um, I feel like everything in the female game right now is the same. It's too similar for me. So, like, if I'm coming in, I feel like everything is going to be different. Wow. That is that is true, and I think that that is the way that you should come in, especially doing features already with other female artists helps prove the point. Oh, of, yeah. Of what you're I'm heavy on the support, on the support of the female right. artists because I know how it is for me. And for me, like, I be having to really push my stuff. I don't pay for promotion. I don't pay for none of that. Like, everything I do, I really push it myself. So I know how hard it could be for real. So 
whenever I get the chance to see a female rapper that is really nice at what she does, I feel like she should come with me respectfully. Respectfully. And she said that too. So make sure y'all make sure y'all follow up. She she willing to do features. Um, I'm sure she got her price already and everything. Yeah, heavy ready on to it. Go bars is, is you got certain stuff that you got written that you're not really for you that you would use for other things or you do fresh fresh material every time somebody comes with you. I do fresh material every time. Dope, dope. That's dope. This is this has been an enlightening interview. Like I, I I can't say that I knew or I thought it would be anything less than this because I I knew when when um Scott booked you and then you started coming into the page that that you had you had that personality that you was supportive and and trying to do what you had to do. All right, so listen, y'all. Without further ado, Kayla said she was going to spit some bars for me earlier, mm-hmm. and I got I got really excited about it. So this is going to be a first. So I'm I'm get into my producer mode. I'm gonna sit back and just get the camera right while she's spitting. I'm I'm probably gonna get up and do some zoom ins and zoom outs and all that, so I can really have. Okay, we here, we here. Yeah, here. yeah. So we can we can <laughs> post this one. This is this is exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. Clue, clue. She from Queens, so you know we gotta. You know, oh yeah, keep, big keep on the Ravens. We we outside. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start the joint. And you is there any way you could play the beat louder, like I can hear mm-hmm. it? Yep, you gonna hear it. On this side. Yep, got you. All right. D D W I music. Ah. Listen. Bitch, I been at, uh, I ain't gon' slack, I'ma get back, uh Bitch, talk shit, but don't spin back, uh One of them men, I'd have sit back, uh Talking that shit, get your wig snatched, uh Gang in a cut, that's a big fact, uh This back to the fat, it's a big rack, uh Talk to me nice, it's a big cat, uh Watch every move, it's a mimic, uh Can't copy the steeds, I'ma pin it, uh Got your bitch swiping the OA She was trying to catch up, but it's no way, uh Got a friend still going no face If I play with illegals, there's no case That bitch in the back with a back end, uh She play my money, it's backhand These rich be sipping Put your back in. There's nothing to pull, put the tracks in. Uh, I'm posting a pic, they be acting. Uh, your man wanna sail, call me captain. Please stay well like the ocean. Had him not, I ain't giving a profan. Like a roll, we don't play with the Trojan. Put this bitch on his head, now he moaning. Um, I'm the realest bitch out in the city. Nothing fake, bitch paying for titties. Got an ass, now I'm shaking the slitty. Get a grip, no, you can't get no pity. Brother, why you blowing my gout? Let it, he be kissing my tats now. Son, these bitches, they calling me dad now. And he rapping, man, turn on the bag down like, uh. Been at, uh, I ain't gon' slack, I'ma get back, uh Bitch talk shit, but don't spin back, uh One of the men, I'd have set back, uh Talking that shit, get your wig snatched, uh Gang in a cut, that's a big fact, uh This back city fat, it's a big rack, uh Talk to me nice, the big cat, uh Big cat, uh Gang <laughs> Gang you say, it, you say it is true, and it is true I was hold on. I was cut off. I said, I thought her abdomen was on the on the track when I'm when I'm over there editing using the camera. I'm like, wait a minute, she's she's spitting to an actual instrumental. That was hot. That was hot. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. That was that was dope. That's gonna that's gonna come across real real nice once that's edited up. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, give everybody your contact information where they can find you at, and as soon as I get that edited, I'm gonna have that straight to your inbox. That thank you, awesome. thank you very much. Um, so again. Y'all could reach me on Instagram at Big Kayla Bela. Make sure y'all follow me. Um, YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, everything else, Apple Music, heavy on the Kayla Bela. Um, we outside. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Dope, dope. This is another DWI.